Hey guys, Chef Jason Hill here, and I'm really excited because I'm at Rapport Restaurant in Rancho Cucamonga, California, where Chef Greg Stillman makes this great chicken and waffle dish. He's gonna show us how to do it, so let's go check it out. Hi, uh, my name is Greg. I'm here at Rapport Restaurant in Rancho Cucamonga, and we are gonna show you how to make one of our signature dishes uh, called chicken and waffles. Much like the original in uh, Hollywood at Roscoe's, we tried to make our own take on, on this particular dish and we're gonna show you how to make it right now. All right, chef, so what do we got going on here? So basically what we have here is a, a mixture of wet and dry ingredients for the waffles, and we start with buttermilk, because it's a buttermilk waffle. Um, eight eggs, eight cups of buttermilk, we'll give you the recipe later, uh, a little bit of vegetable oil, um, vanilla, and sugar in this side, and then in the dry side we have all-purpose flour, um, uh, malt powder, cinnamon, baking soda, baking powder, and cornstarch. And so we're just going to mix them together with a handheld blender. The handheld blender makes sure that everything gets emulsified and all the flour lumps will be properly mixed. Yeah, I use one in my kitchen at home. I love those things. They're dynamite. Is this waffle considered a savory or sweet or a little both? No, I would say it's in between, yeah. So since we have the, the handheld blender, I don't, I don't really have to add it um, in batches. I can just go all at once and let the blender do the work. And then we're going to pour it into the waffle iron. So our waffle iron is uh, very well broken in. So it's got the characteristic um, black marks of a, a true, well seasoned, huh? very well seasoned <laughs> waffle iron. Many a waffle has gone through this. Uh, we always spray it very well with a non-stick spray. And then we add, say an ounce and a half to each, each one, depending on your waffle maker instructions. Oh yeah. <laughs> Close the top, flip it. Set it, we set for about five minutes. That's about as much time as it should take to produce a waffle. Okay, so while our waffles are cooking, we're gonna bread our chicken. And we use a uh, chicken tender here at Rapport that has been brined in a uh, lemon and thyme and honey uh, solution for two hours. And then we take it out, uh, gently pound them and remove some of the sinews. And then we bread it, um, twice dipped in buttermilk, and twice breaded in a, a mixture of all-purpose flour and uh, secret spices that we will not reveal here. <laughs> so what we're going to do first is go right into the buttermilk and dip it first in buttermilk. Let the excess come off and then we're going to go right into the all-purpose flour dredge. And then back into the buttermilk oh, again it's gonna, go back there. Okay. it's gonna go back so if we do this uh, twice and then back into the flour and then we go right into the fryer how long do we do there um, Four minutes. Okay, so after five minutes, the timer goes off for the waffle, and you're gonna take them out, and they're extremely hot, but I can show you that one. <laughs> at, at Rapport, we serve uh, just one waffle. Since we're a small plates concept restaurant, we're just gonna take one waffle and put a little bit of butter on it, and then we're gonna melt the butter just a little bit in the oven. We'll decorate our plate. What we use here is a little bit of Tabasco reduction. We take um, a couple bottles of Tabasco and pour it into a pot and reduce it down. And then we also use, to counteract the spiciness of the Tabasco, we use a little bit of apple butter. And the apple butter is basically just apples cooked down with vinegar and sugar. And my melted butter, that right on the plate, my cooked chicken. And we're only gonna put half of it on the plate 
candied jalapenos. Candied? How do yeah. you guys do those? We, we cook them briefly in simple syrup, uh -huh. and then we lay them out on a sheet tray and put them in a dehydrator, like so. We cover the whole thing with pure grade A maple syrup from New Hampshire, Maine, or Vermont. Oh, wow. uh, $90 a gallon right now. And then just a little bit of uh, parsley. So this is our chicken and waffles dish here at Rapport in Rancho Cucamonga.